How to make an Irish silver fipple flute by Tyrone Head. Step 4. Making the flute body. The billet is placed into the metal lathe. The tail stock is secured. The adjustment is made so that it takes off 10 one thousandths every time it goes across. The hose over the cutter vacuums the dust and chips as it cuts. This will continue until the circumference of the flute body is just over 0.656 of an inch. This is a time-consuming section and some frames have been deleted to make the video move on faster. The finished wall thickness is 1 16th of an inch. At this point the flute body is taken out of the metal lathe and put back into the wood lathe in preparation for sanding and finishing. The sanding starts off with about 250 grit sandpaper and works down to 600 grit. This is a time-consuming section and some frames have been deleted to make the video move on. The flute is sanded with 600 grit paper in the direction of the grain on the flute as the flute is slowly turned by hand. The last finish burnishing is with a piece of paper bag. This creates a very smooth surface. A small piece of clean cloth is used to clean the surface dust off the flute body. And then a finish is applied as the flute body rotates slowly. The safest way to apply a finish is with a very small square of cloth. After the finish is applied, the RPM is increased and the warmth of the rubbing of the surface creates a hard, smooth surface. After the finish is allowed to dry, the flute body is buffed using the Beal buffing system. The first, with Tripoli, this removes any fine surface scratches. The white diamond is a fine polish and the wax brings out the natural beauty of the wood. The flute bodies are ready for shaping the fipple.
The flute body is placed on the metal lathe and one end is cut to receive the silver thipple tube. This is a very delicate cut. Less than five thousandths of an inch is removed at a time. It needs to be taken down in very small increments to prevent splitting. Half the wood is removed so that the silver tube will slide over the end. After the wood is removed, the silver tube is snugly fit. The flute body is transferred to the milling machine. This is accomplished by a very small end mill bit. The flute body is removed and, as you can see, the airway and ramp are formed. Next, by using an X-Acto knife, fine square nose files and a measuring jig, the ramp and windway are finished. A special jig is used to measure the window opening. The fipple part involves some very delicate handwork. The top of the convex ramp is very smooth. At this point, the final shape and size of the different parts of the fipple come together. It is very crucial that everything fits perfectly. After the fipple is shaped, the block is inserted and it's ready to be glued together. Visit theflutemaker.com for more details on how to make an Irish silver fipple flute. This video was made by Tyrone Head and the narrative by Jim Dunaway.